What is up, New Beginnings Church? Happy Friday morning to you. Thank God it's Friday. We have come, hopefully, to the end of a really good week. Uh, can't wait to see you this Sunday, live online, 10 a.m. We're in part two of a series called That's a Great Question. Can't wait to get to that. But today, we are in the book of James, our walk through the book of James, and we're still in James chapter three. And I think there's one more thing I want to talk about this week concerning the tongue, the words that we speak. Yesterday, we read these verses, but we talked about the illustrations. There's one more ingredient in there that I think is maybe just huge in terms of us uh, learning to tame our tongue. Here, here's how it goes. James says, with the tongue, we praise our Lord and Father, and with it, we curse human beings. We got praise and curse. He goes, out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. My brothers, this should not be. And then he gets back in the illustrations. So let's talk about this. He goes, recognize that in your mouth is death and life. And actually the word praise there is the word blessing or eulogy is the Greek word. And so he's saying, you got, you got curse words. Again, anytime you, you, I think that can be used in a broad sense, or, or blessing or praise words. What I want to do is give you another tool that helps you tame the tongue. Number one, you've got to start with your heart. There's something in your heart that's hurt and broken and not working. It's going to be really hard to fix something on the outside like your tongue. But I want to give you something. It's the word blessing. What I want you to do is become a professional blesser. I want you to think that blessing, this is something that goes back all throughout the Old Testament, that the that um, that fathers would bless their children, husband would bless their wives, priests would speak a blessing. We read that every, every week at church. At the end of service, I get up and speak the priestly blessing, and I speak a blessing over you. Well, one of the greatest ways to tame the tongue is to just fill your mouth with blessings all the time. Watch, I'll prove it. Psalms 34 says one, I will bless the Lord at all times. Let me read that again. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise or blessing shall continuously be in my mouth. One of the greatest ways you tame the tongue is this, is I'm so constantly trying to bless people that I don't have time to say anything else. And if I'm blessing you, I'm not going to turn around and say something terrible right after that. And so I just want to bless. And so again, the Bible speaks about you blessing your children, blessing your spouse. Um, there's all kinds of different ways. But the idea of just constantly speak a blessing, well, check this out. The Jewish people took this pretty literally. And so what they did was, is the Jewish rabbis just started building a list of blessings, of things that you would say in certain seasons and times of life. And so I just want to give you a few of them. And so again, coming off that scripture, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continuously be in my mouth. Here's a blessing. For when you first open your eyes in the morning, this is the Jewish blessing. Blessed is he who gives sight to the blind. All you're doing is waking up in the morning and saying, I thank you, Lord, that I woke up this morning and I'm able to say thank you. Watch this one. When you first get out of bed, you say, blessed is he who sets the captives free. When putting on your clothes, you say, blessed is he who clothes the naked. When you eat a meal, this is what you say. Blessed is he who brings forth bread from the earth. Watch, this is a good one. There's so many of these. I mean, literally, there's, there's probably hundreds of these. These are some of my favorites. When you see a friend after a year's separation, you say, blessed is he who revives the dead. When it rains, you say, blessed is he who, who is good and gives good things. And this is maybe my favorite of all. When something terrible happens, you say, blessed is he who is the righteous judge. So again, what they believed was, let's just always be blessing. So again, we bless God, right? We play, praise God. We thank God. We bless God. We want to bless our spouse. We want to bless our children. We want to bless our friends. We want to bless, hey, you can bless your pastor. I want you to know people come up to me all the time and just want to say encouraging words. And I think the assumption is, is that, Todd, you're, you're usually up on stage trying to encourage people and maybe nobody's encouraging you and they step in and do that for me. And it means the world to me. And so anyway, I, I just want to encourage you to be a person that if you want to tame the tongue and James says, well, be careful because you got blessing and cursing coming out of the same mouth. That ought not be so. What do I want you to do? Just focus on being a professional blesser. Be a person who constantly, this is another great just social tool. As soon as you see someone, try to make an effort in the first 30 seconds of being with them of just saying something encouraging, a compliment, a word of kindness, something. And watch how that sets the tone for the rest of your engagement with that friend. Watch this. When you come home, maybe you're coming home to a spouse in a long day of work, the interaction, studies have shown that the interaction that you have with your spouse or your significant other in the first 60 seconds of you entering the house sets the tone for the next several hours. And so that might be true if you're, if you're at home and your spouse comes through that door. Hey, they just walked in the door. What can I do? I'm going to go greet them. I'm going to go give them a kiss. I'm going to say, hey, 
something blessing, whatever it is that would fit their needs, fit their circumstances. I just want to be a person. I want to be a professional blesser because if I'm constantly blessing, that means I don't got room for the cursing. Can I get an amen to that? Church, let us be a people that look to surrender our heart and our mouth to the Lord Jesus. Can I get an amen? Church, I love you guys. God bless you, and I will see you on Sunday.